Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we took a trip through east of Fuchsia City in hopes of making it to Lavender Town, and in this episode, we're going to continue on here with the onslaught of trainers in order to get there, so let's just continue from where we left off last time. I believe, yeah, we fought you last time, and we did not fight you. So let's see how my team's doing here. Uh, I want to give Flowey some good old experience, so I think I will put him out first. Let's go ahead and start the battles. Nee hee nee nee hee, would you like to battle my Pikachu gang? Do you have six Pikachu? Please tell me you don't. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does have six freaking Pikachu at level 23. The experience here is not even going to do anything. Oh, that's so stupid. Why would you have six Pikachu? I can understand you really like a Pokemon that much, but Pikachu is not the best Pokemon in the world. It wasn't until the next generation where it got the Light Ball to where it gets a little bit better, but still. Oh my goodness, this is just a waste of time. Anyway, let's just go for the Petal Dance. I know the animation is slow, but I'm trying to conserve the amount of PP I use for Sludge Bomb because we don't have a lot of it at the moment, so I kind of want to save it. I mean, I guess we do have elixirs or ethers I can use, which in turn would make sense. But I mean, it's freaking Pikachus, man. They're going to go down quickly to whatever move I decide to go for, so it really doesn't matter. At this point, we're just playing the patience game and just waiting for this battle to end, because we're pretty much halfway there now that we defeated three of these stupid things. But, anyways, how's everybody doing today? Today is a lovely Wednesday. It's getting dark because it's getting kind of late. I get home from work at like 2 o'clock. I've been pretty much sleeping for most of it. And I woke up at 5, and here I am. <laughs> well, not right away, but hey. I'm just being a weirdo talking about real-world stuff because that's all you can really talk about when you're in a battle with six Pikachus because nothing's going on. Oh man, what if he just throws in a Raichu in the mix? That would just be hilarious. <laughs> now I'm hoping for that to happen because I don't even remember this trainer at all. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a, quite the while since I've done the Kanto section of Crystal. Please have a Raichu. Oh man, if he did, that would just have blown me away, man. He would have blown me back, let me tell you. But I think Red Bull has gotten this by now. Let's just go for another headbutt, take on the last Pikachu, and be done with this stupid battle. That took like two or so minutes to do. P Pikachu! Alright, I've had enough with your Pikachu things. Anyways, what is this? Is there an item? No? What does this even say anyway, I wonder? Look, right there, at the left side of the post. What? Is, it, is there something here? Look at the left side of the post? <sighs> I don't even know what that means, but I don't care. What does this say? North to Silence Bridge. I don't even know there's a name for it. Alright, here we go! Agility is the key to attribute of bird Pokemon. You mean speed? Agility is a move in the game. Well, in this case, a move in the battle is not a stat. Anyways, I'm being dumb. Ooh, and you got a Farfetch'd. That's gonna go down really quick to the Sludge Bomb. I really don't have any regrets using it here. But Petal Dance, I assume, will not knock it out anyway, so... Sludge Bomb should be enough to take care of it. Uh, well, actually... Okay, it does. Again, underestimating my Pokemon's strength. Pretty typical of me at this point. You beat me with all your speed. No, I beat you with a move, man. Check out my Pokemon. Just look at their coloring and their plumage. <laughs> if you had a shiny Pokemon, that's one thing. But I guess I will... Why am I over-analyzing and criticizing everything trainers say? As if I expect it to make sense when it doesn't? I don't know. I guess it's just my... Not personality-wise, but I tend to overanalyze everything. And anything, a lot. So, the fact that I'm overanalyzing text of NPCs, useless NPCs, they only see like once throughout the game, is pretty typical of me at this point. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, there's really nothing else to talk about because we're just going... You outspeed? Oh, please don't hit five times. Okay, you hit three times. I can deal with that. Alright, let's go for the Sludge Bomb. Honestly, though, I'm glad I taught Sludge Bomb to Gloom before I evolved it into Blossom. I'm wondering if Flowey 
or in this case, Velocum can learn Sludge Bomb by the TM? I don't think so. Shoot, not good enough. No, not good enough at all. Alright, well, I'm running low on PP for Sludge Bomb. I do have a Max Elixir. I really would not like to use that if I can help it. Do I have anything? Oh, I have an Elixir. I mean, I guess that's better. No, you know what? I have a Max Ether. That'll work, too. Let's just give that to Sludge Bomb, and then I can continue to spam it more and more with each battle. What's up there? Is there anything up there? My curiosity has gotten to me once more, and I would love to find out. And of course, every trainer is blocking the way there, so I can't really get there that easily. But I do have the cut, so I guess we can go ahead and see what's here. There's probably just wild Pokemon. Alright, let's hit an item of sorts. Nothing here at all. Eh, I guess not. Route 12. And we got some pretty cool music once again. Now I need Surf and Cut to get the everythings I want here. This is going to be a Calcium, which boosts special attack. And you know what? I think I will actually use that right now. And I think I'm going to be using it on Blossom, so his special attack can do a little bit more. I mean, what's four? I think it's, what, ten effort values for one of those things? I'm surprised you can even use Cut in the Water. That's pretty cool. But let's see what this item is. It is a nugget. Cool, we can sell that for a higher price in the Mart, if I remember to do so. Usually I don't remember things like that. But I'll take it anyway. And you know what? I'm just going to walk because I like the music here and I think it's cool. What's most important in our everyday lives? Well, I could name about a few things. Let's see, you got food, you got a job, you got a house, you got a fam fam. <laughs> I can name a lot of things. And ooh, that Gyarados. Level 30 nonetheless. That's a pretty respectable level. Well, actually, not compared to this point. Honestly, though, I'm doubting that the Sludge Bomb is even going to take out the Gyarados at all. Again, oh, underestimating my Pokemon. Yeah, I figured... Oh, and I even got the Poison there. That's pretty cool. And that does pitiful damage. Cool stuff, I guess. Let's just go for one more Sludge Bomb, and that'll take out the Gyarados. The only reason why I'm doing this is because the Petal Dance, I prob I know would have knocked out the Gyarados. But Petal Dance, if it hits twice and it confuses me, we could have been here for quite the while if I hit myself with Confusion, unless I switched out. So I would have liked to have prevented that if possible. So let's go for the Petal Dance. Hopefully that'll take it out. It should, I think, with the same type of attack bonus and everything. And it's neutral because it's part flying. It didn't take it out. Are you serious? That makes no sense at all. All right, well, I guess Gyarados is a little more stronger than I expected. Even though it's only level 30, I'm surprised Flowey can't even take it out. Level 46. Well, oh, excuse me, level 47 now, but... Uh. <laughs> I'm just dumb. Your final Pokemon, what, another Gyarados? All right, let's just go for another Pokemon. Uh, Patrol won't do the job. Red Bull, I think, will with the good old Headbutt. Yeah. I just completely lost my train of thought for a second. I was going to say something and I completely forgot what I was saying. And it's things that usually happen to me <laughs> is for forgetting what I'm saying half the time. Because I'm always focusing on other things or just, I don't know. The answer is coming up next on Dragon Ball Z something. I'm just trying to find things to say at this point. Anyways, let's just go for Red Bull here. And I believe we're getting close to a house here. Yep, I am. And if we go inside, we can talk to this guy here. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There is no doubt in my mind at all. So, I know I'm right? Yes. Yes, yes, just as I thought. Here, fishing fan, take this. It's the Super Rod. You wait until the post-game to give us the Super Rod. I know it was here in the original game. You can get the Super Rod here. But come on. You really make us wait this long? Also, if we head back this way, we're gonna hit back... Actually, yeah, if we head this way, we can fight trainers? Hmm. <laughs> well, poop. Do I want to go this way right now? Or do I want... Well, I'm already this way now, so... I guess I will backtrack a little bit. <laughs> Good gracious, I wasn't even gonna fight these trainers in this episode. I completely forgot that you can go this way. And I mean, there are trainers here, and it is on the way. Well, now we're actually getting off the beaten path here. But, whatever, we'll fight them. Why not? I know there's only a few trainers here. 
Uh, once you head back this way, you're gonna head back to Vermilion City. However, the Snorlax is gonna still be blocking the way, so you can't go into Diglett's cave until you clear the Snorlax somehow. We'll take care of that a little bit later, but I figured it would be best to do this now, since by the time we clear the Snorlax out, we won't want to have to come this way anyway and fight the trainers here. So I guess it makes sense. It just makes this trip just a little bit longer than I expected. I completely forgot about this, to be honest. But I'm sure the trainers won't take up that much time, right? And you don't say anything. You're pretty cool. And I believe, is there still a hidden item here? Yes, there is. There's a revive here. That's pretty sweet. And you know what? I'm going to throw on a max repel here because I don't want to fight any wild Pokemon while we go through this tremendous about the grass. And there's a ton of trainers. It itches and tickles a bit when I wear shorts in the grass. Well, maybe you should get off the grass then so it doesn't tickle your feet because they're comfy and easy to wear. <gasps> Alright, Sandslash. You're going to go down... Well, maybe. Well, you know what? I'm over. I'm underestimating my Pokemon again because Sand Slash does have a bit of physical bulk. I think it will go. D wow, it actually didn't go down. My accusations of not knocking you out were pretty much on the spot there. Going for the strength here because we're running out of headbutt PP because we need to conserve our moves, obviously. And as well as everyone else, we're level 47 with Red Bull. Cool for us, anyway. One more Pokemon, it's going to be a Crobat. Holy crap, okay. Uh, bro can handle this with the confusion. I know we don't have Psychic yet, like Jinx does. But soon enough, bro, you will learn the ultimate Psychic-type move. But we also have Ice Punch, which also does the job. If I don't hit myself in confusion, which is probably going to happen, because it makes sense to that what happen. Okay, no, cool. Alright, well, Ice Punch is definitely going to take care of things here, so... Goodbye, Crobat, you are useless. Well, you're not really useless, you're just... Never mind, I make no sense anyway. I I got stomped! Yes, you did! You suck! Alright, let's go and bring Bro out, so that way he's close to a level up anyway. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, many more trainers? None? Wow, this place is forbearing, period! I can see it! Everything to see about you. There is not a lot of trainers in this route like I expected. There are more trainers in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but not in this case. That's one of the reasons why I think that Kanto is going to go by really quick, because they really downsized everything from those games. I know it's been two years in the game since our visit to that region, or this region rather, but seriously, you don't have to downsize it. Well, I mean, it, apparently, this region in Crystal wasn't even supposed to be in the game at all, and so I guess they had to kind of sacrifice a few things in order to get it inside the game's cartridge, because I'm pretty sure it was a pretty small size to begin with, which makes sense. So, alright, if we get over here, like I mentioned before, the Snorlax is going to block the way, so blah blah blah, no more trainers to fight, that's it, boom boom boom, cool. Alright, well this trip wasn't that much of a waste, it didn't take up too much time here. Uh, Patrol is the only one that's not level 47, so I guess I will bring him out, and we will continue on. I feel so content fishing while listening to some tunes on my radio. Radio tracks are cool, I will say. Radio is nice. Except everybody nowadays has their fancy, smanchy smartphones and their iPhones. Well, me and myself included, of course. <laughs> so I guess I can't really say anything. Anyway, here we have a magic carp. For some reason, they decided to put magic carps in the game still. Level 25. I'm guessing what's going to happen here is that the last Pokemon this guy's going to have is a Gyarados. Unless there's two Gyarados. But we'll see. Another Magikarp. I really wish they had better. I mean, at least make the Magikarp a higher level. But... I am I guess I... I wonder how the game developers even considered like the levels of Pokemon and how they consider the progression to go through the game. I think that's really interesting. How What determines their... I, don't, I really want to know now how they determine progression in terms of level. How, make sure it's not too difficult, that we're not too under level like Pokemon calls him. <laughs> but in all honesty, I don't know, I just think that's pretty cool. A Tentacruel, that's a unique Pokemon. A pretty strong one at that. At level 31, the Wing Attack should be able to take care of it though, with the Sharp Beak and everything, right? Okay, cool, at least we got that one right. I mean, come on now. 
And now we're at level 47. Everybody in our team, including our Jinx that's being locked up in the PC, is level 47. And your stupid radio did a thing. I'm very sad and upset. I'm sorry about that. Alright, Cinder. I guess we'll go through the loop once again and bring you out because you need to hit level 48 now, just like everybody else. Patience is the key to both fishing and Pokemon. No, it does not. Well, fishing, yes. May maybe for fishing. But Pokemon, no. You just pick a move and that's it. <laughs> How is that require patience? I don't even know. Anyways, Remoraid meets Cinder. Cinder is going to destroy you with the Thunder Punch because that is the move of choice here. I could go for the Headbutt too, which may also knock it out as well. But Thunder Punch takes less animation time. <laughs> as if I'm... This is really a speedrun. I mean, come on now. I would have... <laughs> My goodness. I've watched a, f a lot of Pokemon speedruns in the last couple months, especially for Crystal, and I have to say it's insane how that works. I mean, come on, how do you beat the entirety of the game with 16 badges when only almost four hours? Three and a half hours, it's insane. Fishing spot, alright, well what's over here? I want to check that out because that's, this is, oh there's an item here, an elixir, cool. I'm glad they actually decided to put an item there and just not have that being a waste of space. <laughs> that would make me so sad. Do you remember? Do I remember what exactly? Is there something that I should remember? I don't exactly know and ooh yes he can! <laughs> That's not the actual meme, I completely messed that up. But on purpose because it's a swear word and I try my best not to swear. Unless I'm with my friends. When which makes it okay to swear, of course. If you're with your friends, go ahead. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. So, I'm just playing and being stupid. And ooh, a Poliwhirl. That's unique. I mean, it's not a Poliwrath or a Politoad. But the Thunder Punch is definitely useful right now. I'm so glad I taught Cinder. You know, honestly, I didn't even realize that Cinder can learn Thunder Punch. I just bought it just for the sake of trying it out. And it definitely worked in my favor because it is coming in. It has came in so many times throughout our journey, especially in the Elite Four. Thunder Punch is just such a great move on it. It counters its weaknesses, and I think that's amazing. And it's dealing tons of damage and even knocking out these water types too. So it's definitely working out in my favor to have it on him for sure. Goodbye, Kyle. You do remember? No, I don't know what you're talking about. But finally... We are in Lavender Town, with the creepy music. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and just begin exploring, huh? Except this one is not nearly as scary as the first theme in back in Red and Blue. Grandpa takes him to the poor homeless welcome and takes care of them. Well, that's pretty nice. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he is not home now. He should be at the Soul House. The Soul House, huh? Well, there's some pretty neat Pokemon here. Psyduck, you got a Nidorino, and you probably got what? What is this thing? Oh, my Repel wore off. You got yourself a Pidgey. That's pretty nice. And then, who are you? People come from all over to pay their respects to the part of souls of Pokemon. Yeah, this is a grave. I came with my mom to visit Pokemon graves. That's so sad. Welcome. Hmm? You appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokemon. Please offer consolence, condolences to the souls of the departed Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. The Pokemon that live with me. I love them like my grandchildren. This is really depressing. There are other graves of Pokemon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. Now, oddly enough, back in Fire and Leaf Green, Red, Blue, and Yellow, this building here was the Pokemon Tower. However... They decided it was a great idea to tear it down for a radio station. Yeah, that's stupid. It's so stupid. But, whatever. Welcome, feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. This guy especially is important. Oh, no, no, no. We've been off the air since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start this station would be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined. Yeah, he's going to be pretty important in order to save the power plant, for sure. I am the super music director. Huh? Your Poké, you can't tune into my music programs? How unfortunate. If you get an expansion card upgrade, you can tune in. You better get one. And of course, Ralph decides to call. And no, I don't want to battle you. I mean, you might have better Pokémon since last time, and it would be cool to show off, but I'm not doing it, man. 
And we can't go through here, I don't think. Sorry, but you can only tour the ground floor. Ever since Joto's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we have had to step up our security. Huh, that does make sense, actually. Good call on them. We do have a PC here. I could... You know, well... HM Slave would be kind of nice. You know what? I will keep Slave for just a little bit longer, because Cut is still going to be useful in a little bit here. Now, let's see. Have we been to every building? We have not been to these two, and I think that's it for Lavender Town. It's not a big area, and I didn't expect it to be. Hello, hello, I'm the name raider. I can name Pokemon names. Just like the other one that's in Goldenrod. If you're in Kanto, this is where he is. Oh, boy. And you. Lavender is a tiny, quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. That it has. That it has. But, with that, guys with this season music as well. I think that's going to be it for this episode, so what are we going to do next time? Well, <laughs> I'm going to show the Poke Gear again. So next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be heading to Route 8 and then heading that way. And then I'm going to come back and go through Rock Tunnel to make it to Cerulean City. I think that will be a pretty sweet idea for us. And do some other stuff as well. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Crystal. See you guys then.